In the new paper that's just been published in the journal Pediatrics, um, we looked at the recurrence risk of autism, which is essentially how likely a family is to have a second child with autism if they've already had one. And this is a question that parents ask all the time. There have been previous studies that were done, but most of them were done 10, 20 years ago, and the, they relied on different diagnostic criteria and were much smaller than the current study. So in this study, what we did is pool data from 12 sites all across North America, the United States and Canada, and followed 664 families who had at least one child with autism and now were having a new infant. And we tracked the development of the new infant from shortly after birth until they turn three, which is an age when we can reliably identify autism. Previous studies have found that between three and 10% of um, families have more than one child with autism. In this study, we found that the rate was actually substantially higher. The overall rate that we found was 18.7%. However, we found that for certain subgroups of participants, the risk was actually even higher than that. So for male infants, the risk was over 26%, a little bit over 26%. And the risk to an infant who had more than one older sibling with autism was 32%. So the overall risk was 18%, but for certain subgroups, the um, rate of having another child with autism was even higher than that. There's a number of reasons why we think that the estimate that we're getting now is better than previous estimates. Um, the first is that this is by far the largest study that's ever been done. Um, secondly, it's very geographically diverse. So we studied individuals from all across the United States and Canada, and they were all seen by expert clinicians at centers that specialize in autism. So some previous studies um, made diagnoses based purely on parents filling out a questionnaire, but these were all direct assessments done by people with expertise and using gold standard instruments. These findings are really important because they identify that having an older sibling with autism is a significant risk for recurrence. Families ask about this all the time. They wonder how likely it is that they could have another child with autism. And we now know, depending on certain characteristics of the child, like the child's gender, um, that the overall risk is 18%, but that for some infants it's actually substantially higher than that. And this means that if pediatricians, for example, have a family um, in their practice who has a child with autism and a new baby is expected that that infant needs to have careful surveillance and probably needs to be treated um, differently than children who aren't at any risk. That that child really, their developmental milestones need to be tracked very carefully, that there needs to be ongoing discussions with the family about how the child's doing and if they are meeting milestones as expected, and that if they're not, that specific screening tests should be done to check how that child is doing.